wagon. Uh, in this episode, we're heading down to Collie Way. Going to catch up with the Bushrats boys. Um, if you haven't heard of them, which is probably highly unlikely, check out their Instagram and their YouTube channel. I'll leave a link in the description below. They're a cool bunch of people. I've got Uncle Pete in tow. He's uh, he's behind us. He's taking along as well. Um, so we're going to head down there, Collie, probably maybe on the river or maybe down to Wellington Dam somewhere there. Um, we're trying to do something a little bit different, I think. And we might try to do like a little interview, not an interview, but you know, something like chats or yarns around the fire sort of thing. So I'll ask him a few questions if they're inclined to do so, you know, they, they might just want to chill out. But if it's your first time here, please uh, consider subscribing to the channel. It really helps me out heaps. Hit the like button if you like what you see. And leave a comment and interact. It's always good when you guys interact with me. morning guys uh, this is second day now just out here um, I think it's about eight o'clock in the morning got me bloody coffee in hand fire stoked back up just boiled the kettle um, this place I tell you what is bloody a nice place uh, bush rats boys they should be coming here soon um, they suggested it and they said majestic spot on the river and I'll tell you what just waking up this morning I have to agree with them Uncle Pete's down the river there. He's uh, having a go, trying his luck, trying to get some redfin. Caught a little one yesterday. I didn't get it on film, but the little one's not worth it anyway. Uh, I haven't had much luck, but that's to be expected, I guess. I'm the, probably the worst fisherman ever. But just check out this joint. Huh? First thing in the morning, I can play with that. Well, I'm gonna finish this off, probably have another one. Um, maybe try and drown a few worms myself, cook up some breakfast, wait for these uh, bush rats boys to rock up and get to know them, I guess, see what they got to say. So stick around, I'll show you that in a bit. Hello boys. Hello boys, how are we? Howdy. Okay, now you going, mate? All right. What's going on, Phil? How are we, mate? Yeah, good, man. Yourself? How are Uncle you, Pete. How are you, mate? Been a couple of weeks, mate. Been a couple of yeah, weeks. Yeah, well. You without back swaggins, ready to do some camping. G'day Tony, how hey, are you mate? Tony. Phil, Phil, Phil. 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 Uncle Pete, how you been? How are you buddy? Good to see you. No bloody fish here, eh? Nah, fuck all you. We'll find some. Yeah. <laughs> G'day guys, Phil here from Outback Swaggin, here with the Bushrats boys, down in Collie at the moment. I'm Young Lee. I'm Tony. Lee and Tony, uh, locals around here I believe. Yep. Uh, got a bit of a 
roast pork on the go, so that's that's dinner for tonight. But um, just wanted to get out with these lads. I've been watching these boys for a few months now, watching their contact. That, as far as I can tell, a great bunch of blokes. <laughs> He's doing all the good stuff. Um, whereabouts are you guys? What's, what's your so it's bush rats at bush rats at YouTube? It, um, what do you got? Yeah, at Bush Rats. Check us out on Instagram, Bush Rats, Facebook, we're on there too, and YouTube. And YouTube, yeah, check yeah. out the YouTube content. We're always guys getting the readies, cleaning up on those. Yep. Yeah, plus what else you got? Merch, where do you find that at? We got merch at Bush Rats, the big cartel. Uncle Pete's around here somewhere, he's wearing a beanie. Yeah. He's, he's around, yeah. Bushrats.bigcartel.com. Check it out, guys. Yeah. Yep. All right, um, so I just wanted to get to know these a little bit better. Um, probably already answered it throughout the day, but um first of all what do these guys like to drink um well i worked in a pub for 15 years so like i don't drink anymore but don't drink anymore no nah, don't drink at all so you've been on cokes all day yeah just softies yeah right yeah waters a few of the um you know special green teas but um yeah no nah, i don't drink anymore i've had my days with like red wine and with bourbon and with beers so oh can't do no nah, i just find night. like getting up in the morning to go fishing is way easier if you haven't had a skin full of beers the night before so that always helps what just keep it kind of herbal um i'll dabble cider. every now and then cider but i'm not a big drinker either I'll yeah green teas also yeah dip it, um, well cheers guys this is party going we'll wait yeah get into it <laughs> <laughs> no not big drinkers yeah all right um so where are these guys from you from around here southwest local yeah southwest local yeah. that works yeah. yeah been around here for a few years then Fuel. Yeah, yeah. I think we've both kind of lived around close to the areas we've been fishing a lot recently, um, but it's probably just recently we've kind of been putting in the effort and trying to fish more spots and fish fish more often. Explore more of the areas around Yeah, you know? definitely just river system. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So what do you guys used to do for work or do you, what do you do for work? You used to manage a pub? Yeah, I used to work in a bar and yeah, run a bar. Um, worked in the hospitality industry for 15 years, so I'm yeah. um, not doing anything currently, just yeah. having a bit of a rest and concentrating on the fishing and the perching, just trying to get some fish. Mate, why not? Yeah. Why not? And you're a tattooist? Um, yeah, I used to be a tattoo artist, sell cars, oh, also yeah. a chef, just entrepreneur really, so yeah. of all sorts, but yeah. taking some time off now, we're going to check out the YouTube scene and try and catch the fish and... Yeah, a bit of camping. Let's go. You do a bit of cooking on your channel as well, don't you? Yeah, yeah, we get a bit of recycle craft. We call it recycle craft, but um, yeah. we just get shit from the tip and cook it up and well, don't give it, put a chicken on it and cook it up, you I know, seen that. make that, something up. That was good. Yeah. Um, the boys done a rotisserie, a water, what was it, river propelled rotisserie? Yeah, paddle wheel rotisserie yeah. thing. Uh, cooked up a chicken, that's the go. Check that out on YouTube. Yeah, we get up some mischiefs here and there. Yeah. Uh, Very nice. Yeah, good times. How'd you guys start? Um, just like, we I don't know. We were really, weren't we? Yeah, I think we kind of just had like a, um. This has brought me a GoPro. Yeah, an unwritten kind of like vendetta for these redfin perch. And we just, we just wanted to concentrate on them and, nice and get them all. try and work them out, try and get some big ones, try and get lots of them. Um, and just really get to know them, um, which is what we've been doing for the last 12 months. And. So you were doing this anyway, and you just thought, bugger it, I'll film it. Yeah, yeah. and we missed bought a camera for Christmas, and we've been making videos since New Year's. Yeah, right. You so know? so how long have you been active for since Christmas? Yeah, nearly a year. Come yeah, almost year. 12 months. Yep, 12 so. months. Yep. Still pretty fresh. Yeah, that's... Still new at the game. Yep. yep. Got our first computer this week, so editing's going to be stepping up from here Stepping on. up yeah, the hopefully. editing. Very nice. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Um, how just come up with the name? Couple. Rat like fellas hanging out in the bush, put two yeah. together. It wasn't taken on Instagram, so we snagged yeah. with that up and that'll work. Yeah, yeah. Just trying to get amongst it and soak you guys in. Act yeah. like a couple of bush rats. Yeah. <laughs> um, so what was it like camping as a kid, boys? Did um, I didn't do heaps of it. I did probably more like bushwalking and just like spending time out in the bush and around like waterways and stuff like that. Um. So I guess that's why it's been a conscious decision to just really spend a heap of time in fresh water, mm. kind of areas of fishing and camping now. I've got the time to do it, so. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. I never went camping as a kid. No, I went from the first camp. Got a car. Late, late to the game. Yeah, really? Yeah. So you just didn't do much camping as kids? No. Yeah, no. Nah. Nah, nah. Yeah, right. 
So, it's so just, how'd you just get into fishing? You must have done fishing as a kid then. Uh, you're on the bus, so jetty a fair bit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Squidding. Good. Yeah, I lived on a property for a while which had a, a fairly decent dam full of marin and yeah, it was full of perch. So as a like 16 year old, um, yeah, caught my first perch and then ever since then, just been into the perch. Killing That's it. Just, just like. Smashing it. Yeah, not really smashing it for years, <laughs> just being interested in them. Yeah. Um, but really getting back into it now. Probably, it's been 22 years since I caught a 47 centimetre perch so so that's your personal best yeah, yeah we used right. to work at the tattoo shop together and we used to drive out to harvey twice three times a week yeah. and yeah. if we caught one perch that way yeah we thought we were killing it yeah, yeah right pretty elusive fish yeah but. so you spent a bit of time like researching and you know yeah like, google mapping yeah and yeah and finding new spots and stuff like that yeah and just trying to yeah find out as much about the species as we can really just yeah. to try and work them out yeah. Well, that's good. At least you can join Yeah, right? we get a few trout as well. Yeah. Yeah, we're going to move on. Like, once we feel like we've Master devoted that. enough time to this perch game, move I on. think we'll definitely start fishing for some other fish a bit more. What um, about um, fly conscious. fishing? You ever thought about getting into that? Yeah, yeah, about, it's, yeah it's a yeah, bit too... Yeah. Um, a lot of room. It, yeah, it's a bit of a limp wristed game. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah we're just going to keep it real. Keep the... um, You know, we're not running overheads or nothing. We're just running spinning reels. Anyone can do them, you know, kids yeah. can learn them. And that's the good thing about it, it's just showing everyone that, you know, anyone can come out here and do it, can't they? Yeah, well, like, oh, I guess if we can, definitely, I think anyone can. So, yeah, it's just about spending the time and, yeah. We got, between our, like, our rods, are, one's from a garage sale, yours and Max is 100 bucks, you know? It's not, yeah, not, oh, it's not just, it doesn't nothing. cost yeah. a lot of money to get into the game. Yeah. And, um, just the Kmart special, get you out here. Yep. Absolutely, yep, and cool. just keep it light. Yeah. Like the lighter the better, the more you're going to feel and the more fun you're going to have when you catch fish, I think, so. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. Get in the garden, dig some worms. Yeah. Get out. Get out there. That's Pat it. and Oster rig. Nice and simple. Yeah. <laughs> just just like fishing off the beach, yeah. but you're in a river. Yeah. That seems to be working. A few spinners here and there. Happy days. Yeah. Um, bit of a sideways question, but um, what's your favourite camp item? Or what's what's... The best thing you bought that's changed your camping experience. Great kitchen. It was a game changer. That a little one, camp kitchen. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, camp that's the go, kitchen. isn't it? We used to just stack shit on the logs and that, but when you film me, you need to lay it out and it's got a sink and it's free. Yeah, oh, that's even better. Yep. Yeah, I suppose the camp kitchen has yeah, it has changed the game. Yeah. <laughs> what about for you, Tone? Um, I don't know, I've just been running this mug recently. Oh, and that's been plug there. Yeah. Happy days. Little uh, Outback Swaggin. Uh, what are they? Well, they're camp cup. Yeah, yeah camp tin cup. cup. Little tin cup. cup. You can find that at Outback Swagging at Big Cartel. Yeah, no, I'm pretty stoked on this puppy. Got the bush rat sticker on that side. That's it. Cleaning up both sides. Keeping it custom. Happy days. So, um, what's your dream setup? What would you, use, if, you if money wasn't an object, what would you just do? Or would you keep it as simple as what you got? Yeah, there? I'd probably just be running like a tinny. Yeah, I'd be yeah. running like a, <laughs> at least a $500 tinny. Um, you know, maybe something with a decent sounder, um, probably just an electric motor setup still. Daihatsu Rocky. And just something. be getting like a Daihatsu Rocky or like an old 70, 75 series Land Cruiser with a, you know, a naturally aspirated tractor motor. straight six in it. Yeah. Just rocking that diesel all day long. Yeah. That's and, what's um, in my 80. And, yeah. You know. Probably just be doing this. Yeah. But maybe on a bigger scale. A little bit more comfortable. Yeah. That's the way. Yeah. Well, I love it how you just keep it simple anyway. That's what it's about, really. It's just yeah, getting yeah. out of here, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. So we talk about it before. Like, imagine you, got, imagine you got big and famous one day, but like all, all we want is maybe a slightly bigger boat and a better sounder. And that's yeah. It. Yeah, yeah you got to keep it. Me. Yeah, the kind of fishing we've been doing as well, like it's it's better to be um on the leaner side to fish more spots. And, yeah, so you can get in and out of places. Yeah, and um, sure. bank fishing for sure, like we hit the banks hard and that seems to pay off like i think the better a bank fisherman you are the better you're going to be when you get into a boat more often. yeah yeah right. yeah so you're learning and picking up all your skills and, and yeah and just trying to work on everything like yeah. just having a crack and a casting technique yeah different baits different weights different hooks different setups yeah yeah just trying to work out what what seems to be best for these perch at the moment seeing how it goes and just playing it yeah 
All right, so um, you guys are got a YouTube channel. He's been going for a while. He's doing really well. Um, do you guys spend a lot of YouTube on it yourself? Do you watch a fair bit of YouTube? Do you look at the competition? Oh, yeah, I hammer the YouTube, but yeah, mm -hmm. I'm not so much got like the competition. Yeah, we're probably into like. So I who's know. your favorite YouTube channel? Who do you watch? I don't know. I'm really camping with Steve. Yeah, yeah. With Steve. Yeah, check out yeah. camping with Steve. I haven't seen him. I'll check um, him out. And I was making any mischief. Good, good bushcraft. Yeah, we've been watching some bushcraft stuff, some survival stuff. I've been watching a guy called um, Corporal Kelly, who's got a channel called Corporal's Corner. Yeah. And he's just like an ex-army dude that's just doing like survival tactics and little shelters and bushcraft stuff. Yeah. So hopefully that's we'll cool, man. That's spend cool. a bit more time getting into that. Yeah, so you're interested stuff. in doing a bit of the bushcraft stuff? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Coming out with no lighters and yeah. Just how nah, go. three lighters, like. Just in case. Two is one, one is none. Oh, so, that's, yeah. that's it. Awesome. Yeah. Love just, it. Just a saw and off you go. Make, make some sort of shelter. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Yeah. Um, and just get into like making shelters out of tarps. Yeah. Basically, yeah. yeah. Um, I watch a bloke called uh, Scotty's Gone to Walk about you seeing him. Yeah, 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 we're into him. Yeah, he's pretty yeah. good. And he does um, all, all the different tarps. He makes those little hut stuff. houses. Yeah, man. And they're cool, they? Yeah. yeah. He goes all right. Yeah, no, nah, definitely, definitely check out Scotty's Gone Walk about. So he's. Yeah, he's yeah, on the yeah. list, yeah. So when these guys got started, did you um was there an inspiration? Did you guys like watch a YouTube channel or something and go, you know, that's what I want to do. I want to go out and do that. Or the stuff we do, we were doing this shit anyway. So like the stuff we do is pretty unique, I think. So we yeah. had a yeah. bit of our own angle to go with anyway. Yeah, I so. think we're more into like growing up watching like skate vids and um stuff yeah, okay. like that. So yeah. I there's guess, other people doing like fishing videos and stuff like yeah. that. You guys are incorporating the bush. And, We're just you know. kind of doing skate vids style with slow blues behind it and fishing. Yeah, that's what we kind of doing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> happy day. Yeah. <laughs> that's it. Um, so on your YouTube and Instagram, obviously social media is a big thing. Um, have you had any like criticisms or compliments on on the YouTube's and that? Like, a few compliments, a couple. Watch the biggest, out there, but yeah. yeah, um, yeah, I think it's just been interesting to see people get into it. And no one owns a river either, yeah, yeah. yeah. that's a good, yeah. Point. Yeah. good point, yeah. But, um, everyone seems to be pretty positive, um, which is cool, yeah, yeah, pretty good feedback, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, that's good. Um, like and subscribe, there you go, yeah, like, like and subscribe. subscribe, waiting for you, yeah. <laughs> We're not gonna do another question until you do, yeah. <laughs> take a minute. Um, so hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, um, sure. leave a comment, tell us what you think. Um, what, how do you cope with social media? I mean, social media, for me, I mean, I've only just started, but for me, it's just like a full-time job. You know, you have to be getting content, you have to be posting stories, you have to be active, always active and consistent. Yeah. You know, how... How do you guys cope with that? How do you do? You have a routine, or yeah, know? I pretty much stay out of the whole thing. You're and, just a fisherman, aren't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I leave all that to him. Well, yeah. Tony, just to focus yeah. on getting them big fish. Yeah, he's a pretty one, isn't he? Yeah, he yeah. used to be. Yeah, <laughs> and yeah social media. You just got to play the game. Just um, yeah. whoever's posting the most is out there getting. Yeah, the I feel like out. I'm a bit past it, and I'd just rather concentrate kind of on um. Get, getting to know like the bush and stuff better than getting to know how to use your phone and like yeah. how to use marketing and facebook apps and stuff it's like massive though isn't it yeah man. yeah it's yeah. it's everything now so yeah yeah um it's hard to yeah it's hard to live without it is there um any advice that you guys would give to anyone that's thinking about starting a channel or getting into social media and starting to you know promote something that they want to do consistency yeah, I just think focus on the product. Yep. Um, yeah. Yeah, I'm, I think for us it's still just more of a personal thing and we just, we're just trying just... to get better at what we're doing, but we're not necessarily that caught up in the whole idea of um, being the flavour of the month or anything like that. We just want to... Do what you're good at or do what you Yeah, and just show that, and... show that you could build some skills and build a body of work and like anyone can do it kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. Just loving it. Yeah. Catching the reddies. That's one, yeah. Oh, perch. Um, <laughs> so what does the future hold for bush rats? What do you, where do you hope to go and what, what do you hope to do? Or you just want to... Oh, 
Just uh, keep we, doing what you're doing and see how it goes. Now, hopefully, bigger, better fish, more camp spots. If I can just keep exploring and yeah, start you wanna, building some rafts. You want to get yeah, like a over 50 centimeter perch. Yeah, uh, yeah. Probably, yeah, do some crazier activities and just keep fishing and having fun in the outdoors. Really. Hope it goes. Yeah. Just keep doing it. It's living the dream, really. Yeah. Oh, mate, I tell you. It's not bad out here. Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. Nice. yeah. Stay at home, guys. Yep. <laughs> um, what was like in school? Yeah. Popular? At, at the skate park. At the skate park? <laughs> yeah, probably, yeah. Yeah. So he's... Um, didn't hold school highly? No, nah, no, not really, no. Nah. I'm a bit like that. Yeah. I left school at year nine, so. Yeah, no, I don't know. I was really good academically and junior sport wise. I was always like really involved in like junior footy and junior cricket and junior basketball and stuff like that. So I never really had time to chill out and go camping and go fishing, I guess. So that's. And I got into music and stuff and kind of went down that route as a teenager and like all my twenties and like early thirties was spent in bars and like playing in bands. That's cool. Yeah. So now I'm, I've kind of like, I've kind of hung up those boots and I want to kind of add another quiver, like another arrow to the quiver and, you know, get this fishing game down and like, yeah, master that. Yeah, show that I could, you know, look after myself if zombies happen or something like that. If there was a popular, uh, you guys would be eating fine, wouldn't you? Yeah. Yeah. Happy days. Swag, mate. The tonight, going. anyway. Yeah. That's yeah, it. tonight everything will be friendly. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, so another real sideways question, but if you could know the answer to any question in the world, what would it be? Oh, like... Anything. Creation, like, a, well, what's going on? Like, the whole thing, I want to know, like, why are we... Yeah, well, it's, that's our biggest question, isn't it? Why are we here? Yeah. Um, and, you know, were we created by something, or is this just Darwin? Is Darwin theory correct? Well, is, yeah. it, is it just random evolution or is there something it seems like there's way more to it than just something that could randomly happen to me yeah yeah um so you'd like to know time. more yeah. about <laughs> creation and the big bang or if there's yeah yeah, God yeah and all that yeah yeah that's constantly what it all yeah for me comes back to yeah. oh that's cool it's really interesting because yeah. i'm a bit like that as well you know yeah um yeah there's some big questions out there and i just feel like a I lot just, of a lot of questions aren't even you don't even answer them yourselves yeah like how do you know something until you've personally done it like yeah i just want to know how to get more power out of the one hz that's all more really well, more man. power baby <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah um all right so starting to wrap up um what's your favorite aussie slang i used to use the word cobber a lot yeah cobber was you know everyone was a cobber Cobber, cobber yeah, nice one, Cobber. Yeah, yeah. yeah, have a good day. Another beer, Cobber. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. What about you, Lee? Say mate too much, but just swear in general, really. Just, yeah. yeah. Well, that's the word itself, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're definitely liberal with the. Some of the worst words. Blue language, yeah. yeah. Vocabulary. Yeah. yeah. Awesome. All right. Well, um, last question. What do you put on toast? Sardines. Sardines. Yeah, big fan of sardines. Wow, that was like pepper. So in the morning? Yeah, in the morning, breakfast yeah. style. Yep. Mrs. must love you, mate. Nah, yeah. she hates it, eh? <laughs> <laughs> but no, I'm a big fan of them, mate. Yeah, no, I'm straight up um, Vegemite. Or, yeah, yeah. Man, my own heart, perfect. Yeah. Vegemite. Nothing better. Awesome. Well, that pretty much wraps it up for me. Um, I'll tell you what, I've got a little, a little quick 20 questions. So, it's like a yes or no answer sort of thing. Okay. Um, straight off the top of the bat, answer as quick as you can. Yep. All right. Yeah, you yeah, ready yeah, for this it. one? Pizza or pasta? Pizza. Pizza. Yeah, for sure. Land cruiser or patrol? Land cruiser. Yeah, cruiser. <laughs> awesome. Coffee or tea? Coffee. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, yeah okay. Beach or bush? Bush. Bush. Yeah, always bush, isn't it? Tomato sauce, barbecue sauce. Barbecue. Yeah, barbecue. Oh. Yeah, it's taken me a while to get around to barbecue, but I, like now I'm there. Yeah. I'm like I'm, I'm in the barbecue game. All right, here's one for you: tent or swag? Uh, I'm running a tent, so I guess I got to say tent. Yeah, swag. <laughs> Can't go wrong with the swag, I reckon. Um, dogs or cats? 
dogs. Dogs. Yeah, nice one. Uh, call or text? Text. Yeah. I don't know, I don't talk to anyone. <laughs> don't get much reception out, would you? Yeah, that's okay. Um, roast lamb or roast pork? Lamb. Pork. Yeah, yeah. awesome. <laughs> We're halfway right here, bro. Yeah, I know, but, you know, lambs. You can't go to a basket good, good yeah. roast lamb, though, can yeah. you? Um, fishing or shooting? Fishing. Fishing, but yeah. hopefully shooting in the future. Yep. Yeah. Uh, hot or cold weather? Hot. Yeah, it's been winter, so I'm definitely hot. Yeah. I can't wait for summer. What's hot for you guys around here? Like 23 degrees? Nah, no, like 40, <laughs> about 40. It'll be about 40. Yep, yep. So, uh, that's what used to. Manual or auto? Manual. Manual. I'm getting old, I like autos. Autos are fun. Yeah, yeah. it's chill. Manuals are so good though, especially out in the bush. You know, you never know when something's going to go wrong. And you just need to yeah, you can't have a... You know? Yeah. Um, pies or sausage rolls? Sausage right. roll. Oh. Sausage roll. Pies are heaps better than sausage sure. roll. Yeah, true. Tepid steak pie, mate. That's my fave. Sport or no sport? These days, no sport. Yeah, cool, cool. Uh, driver or passenger? Driver. Passenger. Yeah, awesome. Um, arrive early or arrive late? Early. Yeah, I'm late these days. I'm yeah. more liberal with my time. Yeah, yeah, I like to arrive early myself. Yeah. I always think if you're five minutes early, uh, if you're on time, you're five minutes early. Uh, five minutes too late. Yep. Mm. Um, scotch or bourbon? Bourbon. Scotch. <sighs> you're a half shit. Mm. <laughs> yeah. um, all brown sauce. Yeah, it's yeah. all brown sauce. Um, books or a movie? Movie. Yeah, definitely movie. movie. Yeah, definitely yeah. all. Yeah. Cereal or toast? Toast. Cereal. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Um, what would you rather be? Pirate or a samurai? Samurai. Yeah, I've met some pirates like samurais. Yeah. yeah. Pirates have got some <laughs> Yeah, they've got some work to do. <laughs> samurais seem to have their game a lot tighter. Yeah, the discipline. Yeah, discipline. yeah, yeah. That's it. Awesome. Yeah. Um, last one, what would you super your what would you super power be? Invisible. Invisible? Yeah. I'd wanna yeah? be I'd wanna be able to see stuff into the water. Without yeah, yeah I'll be looking for fish. fish. Looking for perch. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Snake up on them. Mm. It's all about finding them fish. That's the one. That's the one. Awesome. Alright, guys. Well, that wraps it up for me. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for um, coming out. Thanks, thanks for having us. Catching up with us. Good yarns by the fire, mate. Yeah. Yeah. yeah cheers, all cheers mate. Cheers. Yeah. Hopefully, we'll get into that uh, that roast pork in a minute. Yep. No, I'm okay. keen. It's looking yeah, good. Yeah. It's going to be good. We'll make up some gravy in a minute. Have some roast pork and gravy roll. Should be a good go. Yep. Yeah. Um, thanks for tuning in. Um, check out the Bush Rats on at Bush Rats and Bush Rats on YouTube. Uh, find them on Facebook as well. Also check out my channel as well at Outback Swagon on YouTube. Links and in the Facebook. descriptions. Links always in the description. Always. Um, like and subscribe again. Like and subscribe, both of us. Have subscribe. To <laughs> uh, but cheers for tuning in, and guys, thanks very much for uh, coming out and showing me where you're chilling out. No, nah, good spot. Glad you could come join us. Yeah, anytime, mate. Anytime. Yeah, we'll do it again soon. Thanks yeah, very much. Getting us some food. We'll see you soon. Awesome. And as always, we'll catch you around the campfire. Okay. Yeah.